Hi ho, Cooter cool Reviews here, and I know it's been a long time since I've last posted an upload, but you know, it's just it's just how it is sometimes. So today, well, first off, by the time I upload this, it'll be the new year. So happy new year to everyone who's watching this, and what is that? I'm sure it's fine. It's probably just a serial killer or something. Um, so, today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be uh, going over my Christmas haul. And all the things I got for Christmas. Because YouTube, the YouTube algorithm sure does like haul videos. So here we are. So... The first thing, probably the least fantastical piece of my haul, is my candy. I ate most of it already, but here's some of what's left. Some nerds, some chocolate assortment things, and I'll probably be doing these pretty soon. I got some, like, sour straws earlier and some other stuff, so, yeah, definitely... Definitely gonna be good for eating. Probably. Who knows? Maybe they're maybe they're bad for eating. Maybe they're poisoned. Who knows? So, um, some other things I got. I'll go over through some of the new video games I got this year. I got um Hyper Warriors, uh definitive edition for the Switch. Uh this game is pretty fun. Uh it's pretty stressful to play it though, because it feels like there's 50,000 things going on at the same time. And you just gotta go run around and do all of them. But, it's a pretty fun game. I like all like... I don't know, it's just a fun game. And I haven't got super far in it, I, I've just played like the first two levels or so. I also got Dark Souls, and... Boy... That's, that's a hard game. <laughs> I know it's stereotypical to say that Dark Souls is... Dark Souls is the Dark Souls of Dark Souls. Dark Souls is very hard. Dark Souls Remastered is what I got for the Switch. And I'm very bad at it. Um, yeah, I can't... I can't get by the first guy, like, right after you kill some zombies and go and the, the demon drops from the ceiling. I can't beat him. Nope, I cannot. I haven't played that long though. So hopefully with a few more attempts I'll be able to beat him. But yeah, this is a this is an unsurprisingly hard game. Now, for the Xbox I got a couple of games too. Where is that? Yeah, there you are. Well, um so we've got Red Dead Redemption 2. This um, it's the ultimate edition, so it comes in this fancy case. Though it did get a little scratched there, but that's fine. Uh, this is a great game from when I played. I haven't played that much because you know I just got it, but it's it's pretty fun from what I played. And you know I'm not horrific at it. I'm I'm pretty I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm not gonna go around saying I'm great or anything, but you know. I'm alright. I'm alright at this game. Uh, I also got Just Cause 4. And as you can see, I have not opened it yet. So, you know, I, I can't really say anything about this game. But Just Cause 3 is fantastic. So I presume that this game will be too. Yeah. And then I also got the new Call of Duty 4, Black Ops. And it came with this dog tag, which I hang up, up up there, but, you know, that's the point. Uh, so far, the only thing I've played of this game is the zombies, because I don't have Xbox Live. Because, you know, the only reason I got this game is for the zombies. And the zombies is pretty good. It's pretty good. They have three levels uh, in the base game, and all three are pretty fun. I'm not great at it. My high score is, is five, so... I'm not exactly proud of my, excuse me, 
I'm not exactly proud of my zombies, um, or how di well I did in zombies, but, you know, I did fine for one player in normal mode. Uh, the dog tag is pretty cool. It's got this emblem and all these symbols, and it's, it's called, it's imprinted onto the dog tag itself. It's not just painted on, it's actually there. Uh, you can see Call of Duty, and yeah, yeah. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I'll definitely be hanging this guy up. Well, I am hanging this guy up. That's that's besides the point. So I also got some. Oops. I also got some zoom zooms because if you guys are long time viewers, you know that I like zoom zooms. I did a video on it. Like must have been like four or five months ago. Maybe even longer than that, possibly. But, you know, more Tsum Tsums. This one's Melissa Fent. She looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, no. Madam. Oh, I forgot her name. That's it's gonna kill me. God. Alright, well, she's the villain from... Uh, Cinderella, oh, Melissa Finn, I should say, is the main villain from, god, I'm just blanking all the data, this is Sleeping Beauty, uh, Melissa Finn is the main villain from Sleeping Beauty, so here she is, she's got her horns, she's got her blue face, her eyeliner, all the jazz, all, all this jazz, she looks pretty good, um, Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot her name. I'm so angry. But she's from Cinderella. Her hair is very nice. It's kind of weird. She's kind of weird, Tsum Tsum, because she's facing downwards like that. So you, so it's really weird to display her, because she's just staring downwards. And you can't really get her to do this normally. Like, you can't stand her up like this, because, you know... That's how they're supposed to stand, like this. So it's weird that her face is downwards, but, you know, besides that, it's pretty fine. Uh, like, her belt, I guess, and her dress is nice, and the, like, ruffles around her neck. Very nice. Lady Tremaine. Her name is Lady Tremaine. I remembered it. Um, next we have Ursula from The Little Mermaid. She looks pretty good. Nice stitching, I like her hair. Yeah, she's pretty cool, too. Uh, the queen looks pretty good. I like her cape and all the little details on her. This is the queen from Snow White. Sorry. Um, this is Melissa Fint as a dragon, also from Sleeping Beauty. She looks awesome. And this is probably my favorite of the ones I got this year. And this is Madame Leo. Leota? Leota, yes, Madam Leota, I believe. Yeah, from the Haunted Mansion. And she's she's got kind of weird design because Madam Leota is just a ball, and it's just a head and a ball, and it's floating around. So what they did is they took the head, they added like these mist effect around it in the form of the hair, or the hair is supposed to represent the mist around her. And then they actually sculpted the stool. She well, not sculpted. They made the stool that her head sits on her body. So that's why this is just blackness because it's not really there technically. And well, not technically, but that's besides the point. And you can see like the rug, like I don't know what you'd call it, but of the stool she sits on and the little legs of the stool. She looks pretty good. It's She's got a really interesting design, but I like it. And so... So, if you remember from my old... From one of my older videos, I... I played Dungeons & Dragons with my friends, or I DM for them. So I got a whole bunch of stuff from me and my friends. Um, I got some new books. With... That look really cool. And they got... Monsters and all sorts of fun stuff in here. So if you look, this is 
a corpse flower. I read up on this guy. This guy's pretty cool. He, like, eats corpses and, like, adds them to himself. That's a weird one. And you can see that there's all sorts of different monsters inside of this book. All sorts of different ones. And so, um, what's it called? So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this book. It's got really nice art. It's all based around, like, the multiverse and all the different creatures throughout the multiverse. So that's pretty cool. Volvo's Guide to Monsters. It's pretty similar in terms that it's got monsters in it. But it's also, if I can pull up the right page, it's also got uh, races on it. Like, okay, well, I can't find them, but... Volvo's Guide has different monster races, like the Kenku, or Bugbears, and all sorts of different monster races. So with this, my players should be able to play as monsters, which is great. Uh, I also got some miniatures. These will be my player miniatures. Um, like an archer, a barbarian, looks like a mage, a rogue, I think a ranger maybe. And cleric, if I had to guess. These will be what my players use um, to represent their characters. Even They're not exactly like my players in every way, but they're close enough. So, yeah. And then I got this. I bought this with my Christmas money. So this is BC. Well, with some of my Christmas money, this is Besieged. It's basically this board game. It's like a tactical board game. Uh, I'm sure me and my friends will play it. But the real reason why I wanted it. Like the board game itself. Looks fun and we'll probably play it a couple of times. But the real reason I wanted it. Is all the miniatures. It comes with a buttload of miniatures. It comes with 70 miniatures actually. Which is great. So. Uh, I'll probably not need miniatures again for a long time. So. Besieged, Sons of the Abyss. The game looks fun itself, but the miniatures are gonna be great. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the miniatures for my d and I also have a battle map. I also got a battle map for Christmas, which is like the thing you put your miniatures on. Uh, don't know where that is right now. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I'll find it before our next session. And also... Got a couple of Funko Pops, not that many this year, but a few. I got Tifiti from Moana. Uh, she's pretty cool. I won't go super in depth, but she's pretty cool. Pretty cool. We have Taka, which is really, really sick. I love all the effects on Taka, but you know, you know me, me going over this. Thing in full detail is that's a video for another day and then I have I think is my personal favorite Tomatoa he's just so shiny I'm, I think he's my favorite out of these three yeah I really like Tomatoa as a character so I knew I had to get him or I asked for him for Christmas because you know I just love Tomatoa and I'm so happy that I have Tomatoe. He's just, he's just great. So I'll be doing reviews on these three guys. Maybe the Tsum Tsums. Who knows? Who knows who I'll do a review on. And I have one last thing I got for Christmas. If you... Guys, here. Hold on. If you know what this is, this is a PS4, which is pretty sweet. Um, I got two controllers for it, even though I forgot to get the other one out, but that's fine. And it's plugged into my TV right now. And yeah, it's PS4, and I could not be happier with the PS4. It is a really great console. And of course, you can't have a PS4 without some games for it. So, I got Spider-Man for the PS4. Uh, actually, should be, hold on, should be like this, this is how it comes in, 
packaged, but I like that better as the cover of the game. Yeah. So this so as you can see, hold on. Give me one minute. Perfect. As you can see, I had a pretty bang Christmas. Uh you know, got a bunch of stuff. Gonna do some reviews, gonna gonna pop back into the into the video game. Or making videos again. Back into the YouTube grind. Now I'm probably not gonna make one every other day, but you can expect anywhere from two to three a week, probably. Yeah. So uh look forward to that, I guess. And I'll see you guys. Well, first off, drop a like in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you didn't enjoy the video, then dislike the video, because, ha <laughs> traffic. And then, uh, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And watch all my other videos I have. Most of them are reviews, but I have a few other ones, like top fives, and all sorts of fun stuff for you guys to watch. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.